Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to make these herringbone stitch summer flowers earrings. Consider subscribing, liking and sharing for more and more tutorials similar to this one. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 0 seed beads. I'm also using earring findings. This is Nyman Island thread that is 0.5 three millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work with 12 red beads and I'm going to slide those down almost to the end of my thread. And here, what I wanna do is to make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. Then gently I pull just like this. And then I might want to make one more knot. Okay, now I have this beautiful circle of beads here. And I'm going one or two beads after the knot that I have. Now in my next step, I'm going to take three orange beads. And as I'm exiting from this red bead, I will skip the one that's on my way. And I will go through the following. So skip one and go through the following. Then I'm pulling, then again three, skip one and go through the following. Three, And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and here is what I have now, guys. In my next step, what I want to do is go through two orange beads in this direction. In this way, I'm exiting out of the middle orange that is sticking out the most. I take two orange beads and I go back in circle through this orange I'm exiting out of. This is what I have. Then I'm going here in this orange again, take two more orange beads, go back through one of the newly added two orange beads, like this, and then backwards through these two, and then another two and for those of you that are not familiar with this stitch it's called herringbone stitch you just add two and go back through the previous beads i take two more
and in this way guys I have five rows of herringbone you go backwards through one or two and then in the other direction again until you reach the last bit okay now I have this I will take three yellow beads and as I'm exiting from this one I'm going backwards through this orange then I go through the neighbor orange backwards also through the first yellow then through the other two yellows as well after that I'm going to take seven yellow beads and as I'm exiting from this yellow I go here in this first bead that we started the whole thing from and I pull then guys I want to take seven beads again and as I'm exiting from this bead I go again through these yellow beads at the top And now I have this first petal ready. In order to start my next petal, what I want to do is go here through those beads and through the following two orange beads now I'm going to start over the whole thing I take two orange beads Go back in circle like I did before. Two more. backwards through these two and I will continue until I have five rows Okay, and now after I finish this rows, what I want to do is to take three yellow beads I want to add them here at the top and then continue in this direction through all the five orange beads Okay, now I have this 
in my next step guys I'm going through this bit here in the middle and what I need to add here are seven yellow beads okay I'm sliding those down and now I want to go through these yellows here at the top seven again go in the central orange again and as I'm exiting from this middle orange what I want to do next is go in this direction through all of those beads and I want to exit through this orange that is sticking out the most again at the same place where I started this petal and this petal and from now on guys I will repeat the whole thing that I showed you twice if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video and see this part and repeat it here 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 and when you're ready I'll meet you at this point okay guys and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row go here like this and I have my last petal ready now I want to do an additional step to make this petal look nice together at this flower in order to do this I'm going through all of those beads and you see now I'm here exiting out of the last yellow and what I want to do is go through these two yellow beads and I pull then I go backwards again through these two yellows because I want to connect them And I'm going one more time through those beads. Okay, now I have this connection here. And what I want to do is continue in this direction. And I want to connect the next four beads here. I go first through these two beads. Just like this. Then I go through these two from the next flower. And I pull then again I go backwards and again here to connect them one more time then I will show you again go through this orange here go in the next two yellows and just like this 
then in these two yellows here and one more time like this okay and i'm going to continue connecting those beads and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am at my last connection point and what i want to do next is a really simple thing i go here through three yellow beads Then I take 11 green beads here and I'm going to slide those down. And then I take my earring finding and I'm also sliding this one down. And what I do now, guys, you see this is my earring findings. These are my 11 beads. And I count one, two, three, four, five, five beads here. And I go here through the sixth one, counting from the end. Then I push like this. Then I want to take five more of these beautiful green beads. Okay, here they are. And I'm going here three yellow beads away from this connection that I have here. And I pull again. Okay. Here is what I have now. Now I want to reinforce my work. I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. Through the central green here. Okay, now what I have is this and at my last step guys what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread and how I do this I choose a place to make a knot I make here a loop go once go second time through the loop I've made, pull then go through some beads in this direction go at the back side of your work And cut your thread. Okay, guys, and now my herringbone stitch colorful 
seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't also thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough for these actions check description for useful resources send me pictures on my facebook page of what you did following my tutorials and you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or clicking the join button. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching guys.